Hi everyone, a great poet once said, thirsty is no way to live. Well, now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't a great poet. Maybe it was a wine subscription, W-Y-N-C. Yeah, so I hope you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Another episode of Wine Diaries and this one is my Wink, W-I-N-C, wine subscription box. I was so excited to get this. This has been in shipping for about two weeks. It was, I don't know, FedEx said there was some weather somewhere between here and California. So it took about two weeks to get here. I'm going to be a little bit behind the gun trying to get my reviews in before my next box ships. So we will just do the best we can, right? But anyway, wink. I am having fun with this subscription. This is actually my third box from them. Uh, when I signed up, I used um, a code or whatever. So I got it for $29.95 for four bottles of wine. Shipping was free. If you sign up uh, using my link below, you would also get your first four bottles for $29.95. After that, if you decide to, and if you do use my link, your first box, I'm going to get a free bottle of wine. I know, isn't that great? And if you sign up again to get it for a second month, uh, your second month would be $59, and that would be the four bottles again, and I would get a second bottle of wine. I know, how crazy is that? So, yeah, so I am just having fun with this. I mean, you can pick different wines that you like if you want all red, or if you want um, all white, if you want a mix. They just, and I'll probably put a link up there and just kind of show more about um, how to get into Wink and how they do the questionnaire and things like that. So just kind of save some time since I'm going to try to do all four videos again and put it into one. I wasn't going to show the box again this time, but I just had to because it was a little bit different. So again, it comes in this handy dandy carrier. It's packaged really nice. Like I said, this has been shipping from FedEx from California to me. It took two weeks. The other two boxes took two days once it shipped. So there you go. But anyway, pull tab in case of emergency. So that part's the same. And make pour decisions. Yes, yeah, so I just thought that was cute, so I thought I'd show it to you this time. So this time in my box, and again, um, I let them curate the box for me, and it's all based on my questions, and so I, because I'm kind of getting more into the reds and uh, whatever, so I set it so I get three reds and one white. So the first one I'm going to do, and this time I got three bottles that are from California and one that's from Portugal. The white wine is from Portugal, so I'm looking forward to trying that one. This one is a red blend. It's got a pretty label here with some roses, and it's called Rosa Obscura. And I don't know if this is going to focus. Sometimes my webcam drives me crazy. So anyway, um, it just says, inspired by the deep swirling bloom of the dark rose, this blended red is lush with juicy berry flavors, a pleasurably rich, full-bodied, and smooth texture. So anyway, this is 14.2% alcohol. And let me use my handy dandy wine opener here, now that I've shown the bottle. And um, yeah, so this is a 2018. It says it's got a rich, jammy taste. I should have let this breathe a little bit. Medium body, it says it's slightly sweet. I know that um, from what I've checked around on this site, they don't have many sweet wines, like, you know, so I don't know if they're coming back or they just haven't been able to get them. Uh, and again, it's a uh, the winemaking that says it's low sulfur. We should have really let this breathe a little bit, but anyway, let's check this out. Coming out, I'm not sure if it's showing on camera, but it is a nice purpley red. It 
and it's coating the glass really nice so it does have and that is from the alcohol content and there's other things that you're supposed to look for how fast the legs drip down yeah I don't know all that part but anyway so let's swirl this around kind of aerate it a little bit get the aromas going alrighty oh it smells nice so I smell like pomegranate some red cherry some baking spice maybe something kind of peppery Anyway, cheers, everyone. Mm. So it is, I got kind of like a tobacco-y type taste again, or like a leather and a tobacco type taste. But it's still on the sweet side. It's a little dry, so you can kind of taste those tannins when you first put it in your mouth. And it just starts to, to dry. Uh, you can feel it dry the tip of your top of your mouth, your palate there. And as it gets to the back, the fruits, the acidity just comes alive. And all those flavors come together. But it is a nice sipping one. But it's still a little on the sweet side. I'm not going to say it's sweet, but it is a little on the sweeter side. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. And we will see you next week in this when I open the second bottle. Cheers, everyone. Hope you have a great week. Hi everyone, welcome back to the second bottle from my third box of Wink Wine, W-I-N-C. I am loving this subscription. It is just so much fun. I enjoy kind of branching out, tasting some new wines from not only just Napa Valley, but from all over the world. It's really, really fun. I'm going to have a video uh, linked up there that I'll tell you a little bit more about Wink and how it works. And of course, I'll have information in my description below as well. And along with that description will be my link so that if you do decide you wanted to give this a try, your first four bottles would be $29.95. And if you do use my link, I get a free bottle of wine. I know, isn't that cool? And then if you decide you like it enough and you try it again for the second month, I get another bottle of wine. I know, what a great country. So anyway, getting on to the second bottle, I already took the cork out, just to save a little bit of time. This is a white wine blend from Portugal. It's Passarola, and I am loving this label. It just kind of looks magical and mystical at the same time. 2020 blend here. And it says, take a leap into the great unknown with Passarola named for Portugal's fantastical balloon ship invention of 1709. The Passarola, its symbol of whimsy and adventure and spirit is, com I think it says is embodied here. All right, so doesn't that sound fun? And I love the label, so this must be that balloon ship. So anyway, this is a white wine blend. Again, it's from Wink, W-I-N-C. It says it's a 12.9% alcohol level. They say it's medium bodied and it is dry. It's a nice golden hue. And even though it's 12.9, it's uh, got enough alcohol in here. So I don't know if you can see, but it is coating my glass and leaving some legs there. Alrighty, so we're going to kind of stir it around here in the glass, get some air in there, oxygenate it, let all the fruits and the aromas, the fragrances kind of come unleashed after being bottled up for so long. So I hope everyone had a great week. <sighs> we need more Fridays. Oh my gosh, it is sweet. It smells sweet. I smell peach the most. Maybe some honeydew melon, maybe cantaloupe, and something citrusy, not orange, or lemon, maybe grapefruit. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me again. I hope you have a great week. Happy Friday, everyone.
Hmm. It says it's medium, but to me it's on the fuller side. It it's velvety. It's got a nice velvety texture, some velvety soft tannins. I can still taste it. Um, you know, you feel the velvety texture of the tannins up against the palate at the top of your mouth and even in your cheeks. Um, it's got enough uh, fruits in here, so the acidity just kind of makes your mouth water, makes those flavors just kind of come, come alive. I taste the peach and grapefruit, I think, more than anything else. Maybe a little bit of the melon. It says how to serve. Serve it chilled. It pairs well with Thai food, seafood, pasta with cream sauce, and salad. So it's a great little dinner wine. It's got enough body to carry you through dinner, but it's also light, a nice refreshing wine just to maybe serve with some appetizers, serve um, out on the patio or your deck or in our living room or even your dining room table with your girlfriends. Just have a lot of bit of fun with it. A lot of bit that didn't sound like much. A lot of fun. So anyway, cheers everyone. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me, and we will see you next week when we uncork the third bottle. So cheers everyone. Until next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hi everyone. We are back for the third bottle from my Wink Wine Club subscription. So today we are having this 2019. It's California Cabernet Sauvignon from Chop Shop. I'm sure there's information on the back and my webcam does not always want to play nice with me, but it just says it's 2019, it's superior grade and it's 14% alcohol. Alrighty, so let's pour some in here. It's a nice light color here. It's very translucent. It's very, it's a light purple, but it is coating my glass very nicely. So yeah, cheers everyone. I hope everyone is having a great week. And um, yeah, cheers everyone. Oh, I didn't smell it. It's very fruity. I smell cherry, maybe some plum, maybe some vanilla. Cheers. You can taste the tannins right away. I, I taste that, that oak from the tannins. You feel that on the top of your palate, uh, the inside of your cheeks, but it just it dissipates quick. I mean, that dryness is already gone. The acidity has just kicked in from all the fruits as you start to swallow it, and those fruits just come alive. So again, I, I tasted um, dark cherry. I tasted some plum, maybe some vanilla to soften it, and definitely an, an oak presence that you can, can taste in the tannins. That's already gone. I'm just kind of left with um, just the, the fruit, a soft fruit flavor in the back. To me, this is a semi-sweet wine. Um, it is dry. You know, they're going to classify it as dry, I'm sure. Um, I've, I know red Cabernets and a lot of people, Sauvign why do I always put red in front of it? The Cabernet Sauvignon, I know a lot of people probably drink this at room temperature. I had mine in the refrigerator. I think when you have different wines at room temperature it kind of brings the flavors out more kind of like how you swirl things in the glass and it kind of oxygenates it and just kind of warms it up a bit and if the fruit flavors and the fragrances just kind of all come alive so anyway cheers everyone i hope you go out have a great day i've got one more bottle left to open from my last month's club and my fourth box is already shipped because this one was so late in shipping but that's okay. That's not going to go bad. So anyway, cheers everyone. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the fourth bottle of wine. This is my third subscription box from the Wink Wine Club, W-I-N-C. 
so far I am loving that I've had some really really nice choices that they've picked for me and we are ready to finish the third box and my fourth one is already here it came earlier this week but it'll have to wait for another week the last bottle from this box is called Folly of the Beast it's a 2020 Pinot Noir all right so I've had the cork out it's been breathing a bit so we got this and so let me pour it into my glass so anyway this will probably air on a Friday so I hope everyone had a great week uh, so this is the end of this series for the third bottle and we'll start the fourth week next week the fourth box next week got a little bit of a charcuterie board I don't still don't know if I'm saying that right but I've got some cheese here that's got salami mixed in from a local butcher shop in the area I've got some turkey turkey pepperoni I've got some cashew and some other mixed nuts here just for a little variety I've got some tomato basil crackers and in the middle here I've got some cream cheese whipped cream cheese I've got some hot pepper jelly some honey cup mustard which these are like wicked wicked hot and then I got some fig preserves here just to kind of sweeten it up if I need it if I need it and of course wine how classy people get wasted yeah okay so anyway cheers everyone didn't really take a look at the color it's a nice kind of purpley red right off the bat I think I smell black cherry maybe red cherry black and blackberry it's kind of cooking spice not cinnamon not net and not meg but but something maybe what if I if, if I read it later it'll make sense and something well oh okay probably from barrels um, something earthy leathery like a we we had um when Rick lost his first leg and he was worried because he didn't want to scratch the tank on the bike you know life has its priorities I can live without my leg but I cannot scratch the tank of my gas tank right so we went to a um, a saddle shop right where they make custom saddles and things like that and he made what he called a bra for the gas tank in leather so it was covered in leather so when he tried to get his leg uh, with the prosthetic on up and over it wouldn't scratch the bike and that's what this smells like when you walk in and it's like the leather shop things like that alrighty cheers yeah okay mm. it's velvety velvety smooth it's got the soft tannins you know the grape skins the stems the oakiness so you feel that right away but back here I'm picking up more of the fruit I'm feeling more cherry than anything else and that's that's about it it's just it's very light it's refreshing but it's something like on a cold winter's night and you're sitting there maybe you got the fireplace on well it's a gas fireplace because yeah I don't know how to cut wood but yeah so it's maybe sitting right there cuddled up with a blanket in front of it reading a book watching TV watching YouTube sipping on a little glass of wine this is perfect or having some friends over having a nice dinner maybe some steaks on the grill something like that it's really good so good alrighty so that is it for my third subscription box from wink I'm really enjoying this I look forward to your comments and uh, look forward to experimenting tasting new wines new adventures and getting to chit chat with you guys every Friday so it's just lots of fun doing these wine diary series and the the wink wine club so anyway I hope you guys go out have a fantastic weekend and we will all chat again soon love you guys so much and I appreciate you guys more than you know love you guys bye bye